three Turkish men arrested in Malaysia last week are finally allowed to meet their family and lawyers. Until now, there had been no communication with the men. The Home Minister says they've been detained for suspected links to ISIL. Their families fear they'll be sent back to Turkey. He didn't do any crime. If any political issue, they must send him some other country. You know, they must, I mean, uh, if they don't want in here, him to be here, be, uh, us to be here, they can send him to the other country, not sending to the Turkey, because if we are, his, they send him to Turkey, I know that they will torture him. Halfway through the interview, she became emotional and couldn't continue. I think uh, we got a chance to... The circumstances surrounding the men's arrests have raised suspicions that they may have been caught up in a crackdown on opposition to Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. This was the moment Turgay Karaman was taken, bundled into a car minutes before he was due to attend a meeting. Another man, Isan Aslan, seen here on security camera footage in a shopping mall, also disappeared that same day. Two days later, Ismet Osilik was arrested. Since a failed coup attempt last year, Turkey's government has arrested 41,000 people over suspected links to exiled businessman Fethullah Gulen, who it blames for planning the coup. The Turkish foreign minister said in October that Malaysia had handed over three people linked to Gulen. Uh, there was a case last year where two men were taken essentially in a rendition uh, and disappeared and turned up in a Turkish jail. We're concerned that if these three men are sent back, uh, they would face a long period in pretrial detention, uh, possible torture, ultimately resulting in a trial that will probably be neither free nor fair. The Malaysian police chief has denied that the three men arrested last week were picked up after a request from Turkey. But so far, they've not been charged with any crimes. The families of the three men, meanwhile, insist they are innocent and have appealed for their release. Florence Lee, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.